there's this guy I know, which is relevant to this, and it's like a total example of conservative hypocrisy. Okay, so we have discussions a lot of times. We, we're on, I think we're on different sides of the spectrum, uh, political spectrum. It, we may not be. I, I really don't know if I actually know him. He could be trolling me constantly. He alludes to that sometimes that he's just trying to get under my skin constantly. He has been able to a few times. And this this is one of the things that he's been able to get under my skin for. So a while ago, we were talking about the cost of doing business, how long, it, how much it costs him to pay for his licensing, because he's a tradesperson, or how much the or the government says that he has to have certain equipment on site for his for his trade, and it pissed him off like so much because I said it's the cost of doing business. It's like if you have to pay a couple thousand dollars once in your entire career, and you can't make up that shortfall, there's something wrong with your business. But he also complained about how much he had to pay for licensing. He had to pay like $65 or $100 or $120. It doesn't matter how much he has to pay. This is somebody who charges $100, $150 an hour, $75 an hour. It, it varies in his profession how much it, it, they charge in an hour. Um, my, my grandfather, my uncle, and my dad are all electricians. I know, I know this kind of licensing very well. So basically, he was getting charged a yearly fee to make sure his, his license was valid and that somebody else wasn't faking a license one hour's worth of his work. All he would have to do to pay for the licensing fee for his entire year is one hour. That's it. So some time ago, um, one of the governments, it might have been Mike, the Mike Harris government, um, it didn't the the, the the Ontario College of Trades didn't exist when I was young and I was trying to get into the trades when I lost my mind and, and stopped being a, an office worker. So sometime after that it existed. And the reason that it came about was a cost-cutting measure to lower taxes, people's taxes. Because before that, when you paid the $35 fee, it's like your driver's license. You go and you pay 55 bucks for your driver's license every five years. That is just an administration fee. That's not how much it costs to keep every driver in Ontario licensed. It costs way more, and the rest of the fees are swallowed up in taxes. The taxes you pay every month, every year. And this is the kind of guy that wants to minimize his taxes. And yet, him and people like him were really against uh, the Ontario College of Trades that I would remind you existed solely to get tax money out of this licensing procedure. They were going to pay for their existence through licensing fees and fines. And they didn't like that because it, me it meant they had to pay more in, in their licensing fee. It went up to from $35 every couple of years to, you know, $80, $100, $150. Uh, a year. It it seriously doesn't matter how much it costs because that cost is swallowed up instantaneously. Instantaneously. Like I said, one hour worth of work. He complained quite forcefully for something that cost him one hour's worth of work. I realize he's, he's not actually getting that money directly to him. That goes into the cost of his equipment, the, the cost of rent, all of that kind of, kind of crap. But it still means that all he has to do is work one hour longer a year for his business so that his business can pay for his certification. That is it. One hour. Is there anything, anything that, that, you, that you utilize, that you consume, that you look at or touch that, will, that is paid by one hour's worth of work? Okay, I'm not sure if minimum wage is $15 or not yet, but, you know, 10 years ago, it was $10 an hour. Okay, the one thing that I can do for one hour's worth of work at $10 an hour is pay for uh, my Xbox Live subscription because that's $10 a month. So it's not even one hour for the entire year. It would be 12 hours. I would have to work a shift and a half at minimum wage just to pay for my subscription to Xbox. 
he would have to work for his business one hour longer to pay for his certification. That's it. And he complained about this. People like him complained about this constantly until the Ford government got rid of it. He was actually somewhat elected in 2016, 2017, whatever the fuck it was, um, on getting rid of the College of Trades. So now the College of Trades is gone. All of these guys, all the electricians, all the plumbers, all the halfback people, all the mechanics, all of the other, uh, uh, all the the, the uh, refrigerator people, gas fitters, all of those people have gone from, you know, seventy-five, a hundred dollars a year fee down to thirty-five dollars. Where do you think the rest of the money comes from? It comes from taxpayers. So now I am paying him twice to provide me a service. If I were to go him, go to him and he were to provide me the service that he's been licensed for, first I am paying him through my taxes to make sure that his job is secure, to make sure people aren't pretending to be uh, a professional on his level. It's the same thing with, like, uh, lawyers and surgeons, okay? They have their own governing body, too, except they don't get taxpayer money to make sure that functions. They do it on their own. So the, the um, Upper Canada... Law Society makes sure that all the paralegals and all of the uh, lawyers and all of the other people that are licensed uh, under, you know, to practice law in Ontario are actually certified to practice law. And everybody that's involved pays the society to police its own people. Now the, the get out of my business people who don't want the government policing anything they do has handed the policing of their licensing back to the government. And I have to pay for that. So I pay through my taxes to go to him for service. And I pay him the $175 or the $75 to $150 an hour for him to provide me a service. And and that is the 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 two-faced hypocrisy that comes out of these people that they don't want the government telling them what to do, they don't want to be charged shit, they don't want to have taxes, they don't want to people pay for people who don't work, they don't want to um, um, uh, pay for people on disability, they don't, want to, they don't want to pay for roads that they don't use, they don't want to pay taxes on gas, they don't want to do this, 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 but everything, everything that costs them money, you have to pay for That's 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 their idea. That's their mindset. Okay, it's 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 so fucking maddening. Okay, and it really doesn't matter what their what their their explanation is. It doesn't matter what their justification is. The minute they say that they don't want to pay for something that you're using, what some government service that you're using, but they want you to pay for the service that they're using specifically the security of their trade it's fucking nuts it's just fucking nuts and now that now that they've all had this now that 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 plumbers and electricians and havoc people and and um and mechanics and ref, uh, refrigerator people and uh, gas fitters and all of those people now that they have gotten this humongous discount that they absolutely needed, that was ruining their businesses because they were paying so much money for it per year. Now that they have got this discount because the government says, okay, you don't have to pay that money, has any of them, any single one of them, any, any one of them, one out of the millions in Ontario, has any one of them lowered their prices? Not a single fucking one. Every last one of them, because of the recession that's going on, because of the COVID bump, because of the uh, supply chain issues, because of everything else that's being blamed on everything, and the stock market slowdowns, all of that shit that is occurring right now, they have all raised their prices. Not one has given a refund on their licensing being lowered. But they had to get rid of that uh, uh, that uh, Ontario College of Trades. It had to go. It was the thing that was preventing them from flourishing. Because they didn't want to pay the equivalent of one hour's fucking work on it. Fuck you.